So yeah, this battle is almost under wraps. This is the sole buried treasure of the level. I got a Mikado. The Mikado sword. <laughs> Pretty ho hum battle there. The moon card's effect does stay. You battle them again, as you saw. And I finish off the golem. Yippee. What more is there to do? Well, I do have that guy. I mean, gal. And it's just me searching around stuff for any neutral encounters. And I made money. That's always nice. Notice that sunshine item. Yep, that is very effective against Sirius. Now, I'm gonna show you both forms of Sirius. His human form and his werewolf form. And here he is! It is recommended that you don't fight him at night, but you can if you want. I'm not gonna actually try to beat him in this form, I'm just gonna show you what it's like. Now Sirius is quite a monster. He can attack three times. Takes very little damage from all attacks except white. And... He's strong! That's very safe to say. You're gonna see. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Keep in mind that the strong tactic was on, increasing the fighter's defense. This guy is no joke. Look at that. It's the strong tactic, but that's still very low damage. In a nutshell, this guy is a tank. A destroyer. A sheer terror at night. <laughs> the only thing that can do significant damage to him is a white elemental attack. Like if someone equipped the rune axe. Other than that though, you can't really beat him. An overleveled party with a guy with the rune axe could definitely do the job though. No, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it the recommended way. Just wait till morning. Oh, and there goes his form. Notice his class is now Beast Man. It's not the same as the Beast Man with a whip, though. It's just a similar name. Now, while Sirius is in human form, You'll say this if you go up to him. <laughs> if you say yes, your unit will go in the opposite direction. So you don't want to do that. I just wanted to show you what happens if you do. We are not going to wait until night. We're going to take him out right here and now. Now, while in human form, Sirius can only attack one time, he loses a lot of defense, and that's it. He still maintains high attack power, and the same HP and agility. So overall, he's a much, much smaller threat. He's very beatable now. Let's just focus on him and beat him down. 
Yeah, you see, he's still as powerful as ever. But that was it. That's the only time he can attack me. I'm just wailing away at him. This dude is toast. Bye bye. And this map is over. The girls of the lake are saved. And we have more fireworks. I'm getting used to these nice fireworks. And I'm already used to the great bonus money. So yeah, we still have some time left in this video. We're not ending it right here. Now, let's do some setting up. First off, notice the two new levels that appeared on the map. I'm going to talk about those later. Oh. Now that my soldiers, I mean fighters and Amazons, have gained some levels, they can change class. The classes they can change into depend, of course, on their alignment, their charisma, and their gender, obviously. You're going to want to make all of your high-aligned fighters into knights, and your low-aligned fighters into, like, wizards or beastmen and whatnot. There's also wild man, but we don't have that yet. And as you can see, that's a very nice piece of equipment. The Runex gives a nice strength boost, as well as the white elemental. And the Mikado Sword's not bad. I almost forgot that Doll Mage is also a good choice for a high-aligned male. So you don't have to change them all into Knights. As for Amazons, they can only change it to Valkyries, Witches, or Clerics. I prefer Valkyries myself, but all three of them have their uses. By the way, I skipped showing me promoting another Amazon to Valkyrie, but now I told you. So it's fine. Now this is a sweet item. Not gonna use it anytime soon, but I will use it. And that's when I'll fully explain the item. Alright, so the two maps. Deneb's Garden and Slums of Zenobia. I'm gonna do Deneb's Garden first. It is the easiest of the three maps remaining. And... Here's a funny note about it. It's completely optional. You don't have to do it at all. It has very little story significance to the war. So this is pretty much just a do it if you want mission. There are rewards to be had though. So it's not like you'll do this for nothing. Let's see what this map is all about. World card is nice to draw this early. So we're learning about Deneb here. And she's apparently very sexy. Although, she appears to have thorns. Could this be our first female boss? It seems so. Yeah, that didn't really do much. She does experiments? First on humans, but now on crops. Who is this chick? I have a feeling... She belongs to a certain class we already know about.
Ah, I knew it. I bet you guys knew it too. She's a witch. A beautiful witch. Who likes to experiment. And she has minions too. Including a new class, the Cockatrice. We'll see what that class does, and more of this map, next time. See you around.